Hey friends, it's Lisa. Welcome and thank you for watching another one of my videos. So today I'm here with something a little bit different than what I usually do. I'm actually sharing a candle while I'm burning it versus before I burn it or after it's finished. Today I'm here to talk about Yankee Candles Kalamansky Cocktail. This is a 22 ounce large jar single wick candle. I'm going to be honest, I had no idea what a Kalamansky cocktail was, let alone what a Kalamansky was. So I was quite surprised when I went on my BFF Wikipedia and found that Kalamansky is an actual fruit. I may be saying it wrong, but that is how I'm going to say it for the entirety of this video and when I do my empties. So a Kalamansky is actually a citrus hybrid and it is a hybrid between a kumquat and most likely a mandarin orange. It just said another species of citrus. So this candle was purchased in December, not by me because I hadn't bought a candle all in 2021, or excuse me, 2020, but it was purchased during the Yankee Candle semi-annual sale. This was on their clearance shelf. And because I've been out of the Yankee Candle game for the entire year, I had no idea this candle even came out, let alone that it would be on clearance. It was definitely something as soon as I smelled it in the store. Uh, I was with my partner. He's the one who actually bought it. But we both really liked it. It was something that on cold we knew that we wanted to buy, especially since it was on clearance. And I didn't know if it would be something that would be readily available in the future. So what does Yankee have to say about this cocktail of a candle? Their fun description says, a drink designed for sipping in your favorite shaded garden spot, both tantalizing and relaxing with hints of tart citrus fruit. The fragrance notes that Yankee provides is a top note of lemon zest and kumquat, mid notes of pepper, green mandarin, and grapefruit, and base notes of patchouli leaves and blonde cedar. The reason why I like this candle in terms of scent is that I do enjoy the amounts of citrus that it brings. It's not overly orangey, it's not overly lemony. Not that I don't mind those types of scents. I love the whole citrus family, but this gave quite just like a light amount of citrus. Oh, you might see my dog. There he goes. Um, <clears throat> but when smelling this, I do pick up um, the little notes of pepper as like a hint of spiciness and the patchouli leaves. You know, patchouli has a very distinct scent and I definitely get that when smelling. I'm actually using the lid right now. Uh, I definitely get that while smelling the lid. I wouldn't have necessarily been able to pick out, this is kumquat, this is grapefruit, because it's not an overpowering candle, at least not in my house. It is a quite, um, I don't want to say delicate type of citrus scent, but in terms of Yankee Candle, this one is not an overpowering scent. This isn't giving me any type of headache or making me want to blow it out which is always a positive thing. So I've had this candle burning for a couple hours now, and as you can see, there is a nice full wax pull, completely pulled out, which is what, you know, us as candle lovers love to see. Actually, my partner was like, do you wanna go somewhere with me tonight? I said, no. <laughs> I can't, I wanna film this video and the candle has a pool, a full pool. I can't, I can't leave it right now. <laughs> so anyway, I do wanna state that this candle had a lot of sooting and I did go ahead already once with a wet soapy paper towel and clean the candle off because it was really bad. You can sort of see some collecting already on this right hand side. But yeah, this candle was sooting like crazy. And I do watch my candles obsessively like a hawk. 
I also make sure that the candle wick is trimmed before every burn and I blow it out when I think things are getting too crazy. So, I mean, if it's sitting with that kind of obsessiveness, eh. but other than that, I mean, it's it's been burning quite well. I love that it's been pulling out. There's not a lot of wax that stays on the side. There are some rings here from previous burns, but as you can see, it's a pretty clean candle at this moment. So I would definitely recommend this candle if you like light citrus scents. It's not, as I said earlier, going to knock you out. It is not going to be, oh, you cleaned your house with lemon, you know, or <laughs> my dog, I'm sorry, he's like up against the tripod. He wants to get in this candle video so bad. But this candle's not gonna blow you out of the water. And I know for some people that sucks, they want a candle that knocks them out. And I know for other people, they're gonna love it because they just want that delicate, just hint of citrus, not something overpowering. So depending on which camp you fall in, you know, that would make your decision towards this candle change. But like I said, this, it fills the air here but it's not overpowering. But you can definitely tell that it is a citrus candle, but also it's not distinctively, oh, that's lemon, oh, that's grapefruit, oh, that's orange. You just know that it's just like a general nice citrus scent. So that's my As I'm Burning It review of the Kalamansky cocktail. Now, I did think it was pretty cool on Yankee's website there was a cocktail suggested for this candle. Uh, I don't know, it makes me believe that maybe did Yankee have, during the summer, a cocktail inspired theme collection. If they did and I missed it because I was out of the candle game, I'm quite sad. But I thought it was pretty cool that they did that tie-in if you wanted to know what an actual Kalamansky cocktail entailed. So if you liked this video or found any of the information helpful, please think about giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing. And until next time, guys, I hope you all stay well. Bye!